Zoop! Today, we're looking at this radon detector from AirThings. Here's a Roku remote control for scale. In the back, it's magnetic, so if you pour it, you can see the batteries. Standard AA. The batteries are included, by the way. Installation is super easy, as you can see here. All you have to do is screw one screw into the wall or ceiling, and then the sensor sticks onto the, uh, the metal piece because it's magnetic. It's not going anywhere at all. Besides radon, you get a bunch of other data as well. Carbon dioxide, humidity, illuminance, meaning how bright the room is. It has a built-in barometer, so you can see the air pressure. There's a bunch of other radon data as well. The temperature and VOC, volatile organic compounds. And of course, the battery, letting you know how long the battery lasts. So I installed this about three months ago, and three months later, it's sitting at 65%. Not bad. The reason why I got this sensor is because radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer. The number one on the list is, of course, still tobacco. I know this thing is expensive, but I think it's totally worth it if you have a basement. Or even worse, if you have a basement and kids running around. Because this definitely affects kids a lot more than adults. Now let's go ahead and install this on your phone or tap it so that you can see the data using your phone. Since I'm using an Android phone, we'll need this app, AirThings. Once you open the app, this is what you'll see. If you have an account already, go ahead and sign in. If not, create an account. Be sure you enter the correct email address, otherwise it will send the confirmation code to somewhere else. When you receive your confirmation code, go ahead and enter it in, and then click on Confirm. Now go ahead and log in using the account that you created. Select your country. This part, I really don't think it matters, but I believe that they'll share the data with other users as well. Enter the location of your home if you want to, and then click on Set Location. Now let's click on Add Device. Give it permission to your GPS. It found the device, so go ahead and click on Next. Rename the device if you want, and then click on Add Device. Most likely, there's going to be a firmware update, so go ahead and click on Start to download the latest firmware. Be sure to have your phone near the device so that it can push the data to your device. This update actually took a while, like 10 minutes. I was kind of surprised. It wants you to reinsert the batteries, so go ahead and pop the batteries out and put it back in. Click on the button, Batteries Reinserted, whenever you're ready. Now that the device is added, go ahead and click on Close. If you click on Devices, you'll see all of the information that I showed you earlier in Home Assistant. Very nice. Now that you're done with your phone, if you have a Home Assistant hub or any other smart hub, let's get this thing into your hub. So in my Home Assistant, I'm going to go to Settings, Integrations, and it automatically found the air things. So click on Configure and then Submit. I believe this works over Bluetooth, so you must have Bluetooth enabled in your Home Assistant. Assign it an area if you want, and then click on Finish. Now click on one device, because I don't have one, and you'll see all of the data that we saw earlier before. All right, now that we got the sensor into a Home Assistant, let's create an automation. We want to get a warning, a text message, when the radon level is high. So go to Radon One Day Level, click on the gear icon, click on Copy. On the left-hand side, click on the plus icon for automation. Click on anything you want because it doesn't really matter. We're going to change it later. This trigger right here is too specific. Let's just delete it. Click on the three dots on the upper right-hand corner. Go down to Delete. Add our own trigger. It will be States. In the Entity, go ahead and paste it in. Control V. That's the one that we copied earlier, by the way. So it doesn't matter what it changed from. We want it to change to. The two value will be High. Add an action, call service. It's going to send a message to my phone using Telegram app. And the message can be whatever you want. For me, it will be radon level is high. Check sensor immediately. Click on save. Give it a name and then click on save. We are all done. I right, hopefully this video helps you with getting this AirThings installed, getting it onto your phone, and then into your Home Assistant Hub. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.